approach the spectator and look at him sharply and just state, okay, you look like um, like 35. And while he is thinking that it, that you could mean his age or uh, how old he looks, you specify, no, no, it's not about how um, old you are. It's a game that I'm playing, and the game is the following. I took a deck of cards and I wrote numbers on the backs. Um, I shuffled it first so that the ace of spades uh, not has number one and the two of spades number two. And um, at the moment I'm I'm just looking into into your face and I, I'm so sure that you will pick the 35. Now, as I already announced the 35, um, that would be just stupid asking you for a number and you could change easily. Um, please name any playing card, any playing card you like. And um, okay, maybe the Queen of Hearts. Okay, let's go for the Queen of Hearts. There's the Queen of Hearts, and indeed it's the 35. Amazing. Now, I even think that we can repeat this with uh, two other spectators, if you like. Uh, let's go for a random number. Uh, let me let me let me name a card first. Go for the two of diamonds. The two of diamonds, and we will look for a random number between one and 52. In this case, it would be the number 17. Um, Oh well, this is cool. Okay, this is uh, just the top card. And one more time, I would even th uh, think that I could tell a third card also. Go for the six of spades. Give me any other number between 1 and 52. A uh, random number like this is 7 or I don't know. Um, I, yeah, 39 for instance. Let's check the 39. Hmm. There's 40, that's very close to it. 51, 16, the 38, 32, 49, and 39. There we go. So, um, by random, we chose the two of diamonds, uh, the number 17 and for the six of spades uh, the 39 and indeed both are true this is triple coincidence three times in a row a perfect match